Welcome to Dave's Diaries in France. Enjoy the video. Well, that was hard work. Between the two of us. He ain't wrong, it was hard work. <laughs> so you've got a time lapse of us cutting some of this all the way down there. And tomorrow we've got the same again, but it's even longer. It's all the way down there, and all the way around. So that's going to be interesting. I'd use a different word, but yeah. <laughs> It'll be interesting. <laughs> so, there'll be another time lapse, but that's for tomorrow. Bye. So, see you later. This is day two of the cutback. Um, but due to inclement weather conditions, certain tools we cannot use due to electricity so we've just been lopping down around the back here which mark has done a fantastic job mind you he's cut to ribbons through brambles so we're just clearing that backlog there and uh <laughs> Show us your arms. 
<laughs> Blooded. Blooded. <laughs> so now we're, we're uh, lopping the uh, hedge here. We can't do any trimming because of the the amount of water in the uh, in the trees because it chucked it down overnight. But we're getting there slowly, slowly but surely. But brambles are us. It's ridiculous. Like that monster there. Yeah. So, let's crack on. One hour later. And it was at this moment, things went pear-shaped. We got a bleeder! Yes, I had a mishap. It was me. I almost sliced my index finger off. Um, it was a vicious, um, really vicious. Um, so, yeah, um, there was a lot of blood lost. Um, and it was my own fault. Hands, hold my hands up. My own fault completely. Um, so, um, yeah, the uh, fire service were called. In France, the fire service are the paramedics, the ambulance. They do everything, pretty much, apart from police. Uh, so, uh, um, Mark put uh, pressure on my finger because I was a bleeder. I was seriously a bleeder. And uh, sat me down. And they didn't take long to turn up. Um they uh, 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 put me on a monitor, monitor straight away, looked at the damage, took a photo of the uh, damage, and I had a look. I wish I hadn't had a look because there were parts of my body that should have been the, on the inside. So that was the crux of it. Um, so they did, the, did an assessment, um, took photo. That got back to head office. They decided at head office, right, take him to the local hospital. This was rapid. Um, I was a bit pasty, uh, they kept kept an eye on me, and while I was being treated, as you can see in the video, while I was being treated, I got uh, ravaged by a horsefly, and my right hand uh, blew up like a balloon. So not only my left hand, I have a near severed index finger, on my right hand I can't touch anything because I can't move it, because it's swollen. It's coming down now, but... So, yeah, that was uh, quite quite worrying. Um, not just for me, just uh, for for the wife as well, because she she was she was in a bit of a panic, and I could see she was getting really really stressed and worried. So, uh, but it it was my own fault. I'm not going to go into what happened, but let me just say, it shouldn't have happened, but it did. So lessons learned. Um, the fire service were fantastic. The hospital was fantastic. Uh, I had, uh, they pushed my bits of my body materials back into the wound and uh, sewed me up. And uh, now I'm on a treatment regi regime um, to get back to health. Hopefully in 10 days time I'll have the stitches out. 
and hopefully over time I'll get the feeling back in, in my uh, index finger because I can't feel it at all. Um, but no tendon damage, no broken bones, it, but it's just a nasty, nasty gash. Um, so there we have it. Uh, lessons learned from the day. Um, again, I'm not going to go into how it happened, but it was silly. Let's put it that way. It should not have happened. It was a complete mistake by my half. And uh, many thanks to Mark for, for um, putting the pressure on my hand while the, um, the fire service turned up. Because he, he, I think he, he was uh, starting to lose the will because he was squeezing that hard. He was losing the strength because he'd, he'd been at it for a couple of days. We, we, we all had. So um, it, it, it was a shame that the weekend ended like that. But, you know, like I said, lessons learned. Uh, apart from that, all is good. Um, apart from I can't do do anything. So um, I will uh, catch you all later. Um, I might uh, I'll put a photograph at the end. Just to, uh, no, actually I'm not going to put a photograph at the end because honestly it's hideous. I wouldn't. It, it's not nice at all. Um, they did a really good job of sewing me up but um anyway i'm gonna go and um i'll cat but cat catch back up with you all soon oh by the way we had fiber installed on friday and it is mega fast but i'm not sure whether it's reliable yet let's let's wait and see it's it's good i'm getting uh 100 times uh, faster speed so i'll see how far this uh, video goes up or how you know how quickly it goes up and uh anyway i'll catch you later have a good one bye